through the first eight minutes or so of the play. And uh, even though you've got your text with you, I encourage you to watch the show, not your text. <laughs> um, but I want to remind you of how the mask functions. So it's there to stabilize the emotion of the character, and it's, it's not naturalistic. So you're not going to be seeing naturalistic acting here. This is exaggerated. This is something that is fixed and vague and needed to be this way. Um, look for the gestures. Look how social status and gender is established. And I think, can we just drop the house lights a little bit? Agamemnon's tent. Leave the old woman from the house, children. Leave your fellow slave, lifting her up. Once your queen, the women of Troy. Take, bear, send, lift me, grasping my aged hand. O oh, gods of the earth, save my boy. Who the sole remaining anger of my house inhabits snowy grace under protection of his father's guest friend. Something new will happen. Some mournful song will come to mourning women. 
resolved that your daughter shall be sacrificed to Achilles. You know when he mounted his tomb and appeared with golden weapons and checked the seafaring flotilla who sailed straight at the ropes, shouting out this. Where then, Danaeans, do you think you're going, leaving my tomb without a prize? A wave of great strife crashed down together. Rumor ran a sudden from the Greeks' army of spearmen to summon team best to give blood sacrifice in the tomb of <laughs> others that did it. But there was one looking after your welfare, and one who seems God gives me back instead. Agamemnon. Gold-bearing neck. 